Chairman John DeBerry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members of the House, what this bill has done is made us take a long look at ourselves and our education system and some of the things that we have accepted that we probably should have been looking at just a little bit more for many years. It's making us take an introspective examination of our own education system. And while we throw around terms like failing students and failing schools, like those are acceptable terms, what it's making us do is realize that we've got a ways to go and we've got a tremendous amount of work to do. Somewhere along the line, we lost our savvy. We lost our competitive nature, our competitive spirit. We lost our curiosity. And we lost our absolute determination to be the best and smartest and brightest upon the planet Earth. The folks that went to the moon with a slide rule, a, pencil, a piece of paper and a pencil, and a computer that would fill up this room that didn't have as much memory as my cell phone, those individuals somehow, that, that individuality and that savvy and creativity has been lost in this nation. It's time we find it again. And when we talk about charter schools, we're talking about public schools, we're talking about educating our children. Let's get back to the four R's, reading, writing, arithmetic, and respect. Let's start disciplining our students again and not just discipline the teachers. Let's stop trying to give our children what we didn't have. They've got gold around their necks and gold in their mouth and $100 tennis shoes, but we didn't give them what we did have. We haven't given them respect. We haven't taught them respect for authority. It's time to get back to those simple things. Let's pass this bill. We know that there's a lot of talk and there are hurt feelings and there are a lot of things that we still have to talk about. But let's continue to talk about them and let's get it right in Tennessee and let's get it right in America. Let's vote this bill up or down. Let's move on and let's go home and let's start working on this problem as a collective, as individual uh, representatives in our particular districts to make education better for all students, all students in the state of Tennessee. And upon that, Mr. Speaker, I move previous question.